I have over 4,000 miles on my Can-Am Riker, and I'm going to let you know everything that I learned about gas mileage. In this video, I'm going to tell you what the gas mileage was at first fuel up, what mileage you can expect in eco, normal, sport, and rally mode, and does octane actually make a difference? I'm going to tell you this and a whole lot more. I hope you enjoy the video. First off, I'd like to let you know about the driving conditions. I'm six foot three and 270 pounds. I'm running the Riker without a windshield. Most of my driving, 90% of it was done in the country and on mountain roads. 10% of it was done on the highway. And I mainly use 89 octane, but I did test all the octanes out. And I'll explain a little further why I run 89 octane. Let me first start off by telling you, when I first fueled up the Riker, I did a video I ended up getting 23.7 miles per gallon using 89 octane gasoline and I thought that was kind of bad and it really was. Your gas mileage will improve though with every fuel up from your first one. After the Riker gets broken in, the gas mileage does get better. You will definitely see an improvement over that. So I'm going to say your first tank of gas, you're probably going to get anywhere between 24 and 26 miles per gallon. But don't fret, it will improve from there. I know new Riker owners are curious about gas mileage, and what I ended up doing, I was curious myself, I wanted to see what the gas mileage was in every mode, eco, normal, sport, and rally, and I ran the test using 89 octane, I did a previous video, and I believe I started doing the test around the 1000 mile mark. I ended up resetting the gas mileage gauge after every one of my fuel ups, and I ran a full 5 gallons of gasoline out of every tank to get these results. In eco mode, I ended up getting 31.8 miles per gallon. Normal mode was 29.7 miles per gallon. Sport mode was 28.5 miles a gallon. And rally mode ended up being 28.2 miles a gallon. Not great, but I'll tell you, I never bought the Riker Rally expecting great gas mileage. I bought the Rally just to have a lot of fun with. But anyway, after 4,000 miles, what have I learned and did my gas mileage actually improve? I am still using 89 octane and after 4,000 miles my gas mileage has improved. Eco mode I am getting 33.4, normal mode I am getting 31.2, sport mode 30.1, and rally mode 29.8 miles per gallon. Now this was a big improvement over my first video where I tested all the gas mileage and I started seeing better results around the 2,000 mile mark on the bike, so I believe from 2,000 miles on, your gas mileage isn't going to improve. I've been consistently seeing the same results over and over and over again using 89 octane. And why I use 89 octane is I'm going to explain that right now. A lot of people believe that octane makes a huge difference when driving a motorcycle, and with some motorcycles it may. But I'm going to say with the Can-Am Riker Rally Edition, it definitely doesn't make that much of a difference. I ran 87, 89, and 93 octane gasoline. And 87 and 89 octane, I consistently see the same results. There is absolutely no difference in gas mileage between 87 and 89 octane. There's no pinging, there's no performance gain. Basically, running those two octanes is equivalent, and like I said, there's no loss in power or anything like that. So it's, it's absolutely safe to run 87 and 89 octane in this bike with absolutely no issues whatsoever. When running 93 octane, I noticed a 0.7 difference in gas mileage. Basically, what that ends up being is my eco mode average went from 33.4 to 34.1. Normal mode went from 31.2 to 31.9. Sport mode went from 30.1 to 30.8. And rally mode went from 29.8 to 30.5 miles per gallon. A 0.7 difference wasn't enough for me to justify the price of paying for 93 octane gasoline. I didn't see any performance gain, no ticking still, and no power gain. So. For me, running 93 octane absolutely makes no sense in the Riker. Yes, it might keep things a little cleaner in the long run, but I'm going to say after running 87 octane in my previous motorcycle, it was a Suzuki SV650S, it was a 2003, I ran 87 octane in that bike for 14 years, and I'll tell you what, 
absolutely no issues with that motorcycle whatsoever. So I'm going to continue to run middle of the road gasoline. I'm going to run 89 octane in the Riker, I think, for as long as I own it. You're going to say, well, why aren't you running 87 if it doesn't make a difference? I'm just going to go middle of the road on this. The, eight, the difference between 87 and 89 octane isn't that much, but the jump between 89 and 93 is generally a huge difference. Anyway, I hope this video answered all your questions today. Let me know in the comments section what octane you're going to use. Did you find the video helpful? Anyway, I'm going to recap all the results on the screen for you right now. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks again.